Piers Morgan invitó a una escritora feminista durante el Día Internacional de la Mujer para preguntarle qué define realmente a una mujer, pero solo terminaría mofándose frente a todas las cámaras y a los ojos de un país entero. Okay, why can't I identify as a black lesbian? <coughs> Well, firstly, I mean, it was... Well, I'm serious, that, huh? I'm serious. If I can identify as anything mm -hmm. without any need to prove I'm actually what that is, I, I why think... can't I, on International Women's Day, say I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian? Piers Morgan había invitado a Angelica Malin para discutir sobre la identidad de género y lo que define el género de un ser humano. Pero ni bien había empezado la conversación, se sintió la tensión. I mean, I don't know why you're obsessed with defining it. Like, what, what is a man? Like, why do we need these arbitrary... A man is a male adult... Human, I mean, that's it. Right, okay, I don't know that we need... These, these, these are just these biological facts, but they're just facts. They're not, they're not arguable points, are they? But you, I think we have a right to self-identify, and you said as you what? want to... As you, what? Well, if you'd on. like to be a woman, you can identify as a woman. I don't know why there is such an issue around... We've literally just seen a male rapist use that scam to get himself put into a female prison where he could attack vulnerable women inside a female prison when even his ex-wife said it was all a scam. Which is a terrible, very distressing, isolated incident. And I think it's easy to take that and say, that means that no, no, no one can identify as a woman. Morgan no podía aceptar los argumentos que entregaba la reconocida escritora, por lo que en todo momento le ponía preguntas sobre la mesa relacionadas a la identidad de género. Is it, is, it lim is it limitless, right this self-identity? It's not totally limitless. What's the but limit? When you're, when you're talking about International Women's Day, I don't know why we take the, the conversation around International Women's Day and make it about this. But if anyone, there's so many benefits right, But if anyone, according to you, can identify as a woman, anyone can, right? I, I don't see a problem with Just literally put the hand up and say I'm a woman. But it, it's not an easy thing to do, to go out into Actually, the world. Actually, it's very easy. Very easy. <laughs> very easy. You might think it's easy to say, but to decide to do that, to say what this is doing it involved. Pero lo que colmó la paciencia de Angélica fue cuando se empezó a ridiculizar a todo el movimiento. Why can't I identify as a black lesbian? <coughs> well, firstly, I mean, it was... Well, I'm serious. Huh? I'm serious. If I can identify as anything mm -hmm. without any need to prove I'm actually what that is, I, I why can't I, on International Women's Day, say I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian? I think taking it to a kind of absurd no, status no. I think, where I think we're that's talking what you, about quite a, a With respect, I think that thing. you've already opened the absurdity door by saying it is limitless. You can do what you like. Anyone can say, I'm a woman. So I simply ask you, why can't I? I mean, this point kind of ridicules trans people to an extent. Actually, I think, I think what you said ridicules trans people because actually people who, who go through the full process of transition who actually go through what we used to call a sex change, which I don't think you can muck around with original biology, but those who actually go through surgical procedure over a number of years, I've got great respect for that very difficult journey they go on. I had zero respect for people who just wallop their hand up and go suddenly, I'm a woman and I want all the rights that a woman has. Sin embargo, el presentador inglés sí tocaría puntos importantes en la discusión, como el hecho de que deportistas transgénero empiecen a batir récords en las categorías femeninas de los deportes. Pero no podía quedarse en esa conversación, sino que debía seguir ridiculizando el argumento de la escritora. So the original standard for being transgender was being diagnosed with gender dysphoria, which is a legitimate condition. And now it's been, oh, however way you feel. So if you feel on Tuesday you're a woman and on Thursday you're a pizza, that's perfectly valid. But to you that's ridiculous and I, I want to know why that is ridiculous. We should be talking about actual women on International Women's Day, that's not crazy. I mean, I agree, they, but uh, your idea of an actual woman... Uh, the I chromosomes, mean, it's pretty is a, is an adult female, it's not difficult. The chromosomes are a pretty good indication. I don't think you have to be biologically female to identify Then as you a are woman. wrong, because then I can identify as a fox. Yeah. But again, it's you a can. Kind of absurd point. How many, like, well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Angelica. How many genders are there? Two. There are two genders? Oh. Wow. So you don't believe in transgenders at all? Well, I think, I think there are well, two Well, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There are two genders? Well, it's taught in... Well, you say well. You've literally just launched this huge defense of transgenderism. Now you've eradicated it. I think there's... If there are two genders, you mean male and female, there's, right? There's gender fluidity. I, I will... Fluid between what? Between what? Between different identities, and we can choose one. You see how difficult this is, though. But it is difficult. But I think making. But it's not difficult until you make it difficult. Lo cierto es que no es primera vez que Piers Morgan entra en este tipo de discusiones donde, en su mayoría, se le recrimina el hecho de ridiculizar el tema. Y es que claro, cada vez que lo menciona, dice argumentos que pueden considerarse serios, pero que a los segundos complementa con comentarios fuera de lugar. Este tema sigue siendo algo muy polémico. Y pese a que hace años que se viene conversando, 
aún no existe un consenso sobre cómo se debe abordar. 